So how can we use the karyogram to locate the genes? If the karyogram is viewed at high power under the microscope, a series of light and dark bands can be seen which form a unique pattern on each chromosome. These bands are just staining patterns and they do not represent individual genes. Even so, they do allow scientists to locate and pinpoint the positions of genes and they do so via a numbering system. Through genetic research, scientists have now formed a cytogenetic map and can now locate many of our important genes and also those implicated in disease. So how is the cytogenetic map formed? Scientists use a standardised mapping system called the International System for Cytogenetic Nomenclature, ISCN, so they can pinpoint genes in a consistent manner. The chromosomes are aligned to form an ideogram with their short arms orientated upwards and the long arm downwards. The arms are then divided into regions with region 1 next to the centromere and the next region number 2 and so on. These regions are dictated by the position of the staining bands. At a high magnification, as additional bands are seen, each region is then divided into further bands and subbands. These are numbered by adding a digit, e.g. region 1 band 1 will be denoted as number 11, region 1 band 2 as 12 and so on. At greater magnification still, as more subbands become visible, a decimal point is used. Region 1 band 1 subband 2 will be denoted as 